Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's reveal wheel, I've got the templates for the car critter add-ons. Um, I have the Christmas and the car critter stamps and dies. I have the reveal wheel and all its components, plus the reveal wheel car critter add-on. <laughs> and I also have the outside in stitched rectangles, scalloped re stitched rectangles, anyway. So I have, I have most of my cardstock is Bristol Smooth cardstock, except for their back panel. So the slightly whiter looking piece um, that doesn't have an opening cut into it. It's just so you're not going to see that. So it doesn't matter that it doesn't, it's a different color, a different cardstock type. So I used a cheaper cardstock for that. Um, but you could all, you could use all the same stuff. Um, for the scalloped one, I wasn't sure if I was going to ink blend onto it, so that's why I cut it out of some Bristol Smooth. In the end, I didn't do that, so I left it white. <laughs> and if you stay right to the end of the video, um, I'll actually post a picture of um, what else, the other things I did to the card, because there were I felt like it needed extra stuff and I kind of ran out of time. So... <laughs> So this is one idea to keep it very, very simple. And then if you stay to the end, you'll see a picture of what I did to add it, add a little bit more to the card. So I have my um, reveal wheel template that I'm popping over the wheel of the reveal wheel at, that I've cut out of cardstock. And I'm de I've decided to use the one that has three openings and I know you cannot see them here, <laughs> white on white, of course. Um, but what I want to do is use that as a guide so that I can stamp my images. Now, in hindsight, m another way to do it is that you could just lightly pencil draw or trace those little, um, you know, the, the, where the openings of the, the template are. I just kind of went with it. I thought, let's just wing it because <laughs> I was running out of time and steam. <laughs> so I just used the template as a guide and eyeballed getting these critters in there. So in the Car Critter Christmas add-on, there is there are three reindeers that are driving. There's one reindeer who's just, you know, cheering from the sideline. Um, and there's also a bear who's carrying a present, I believe. Um, in the Car Critter add-on, uh, in the Car Critter stem set, so the original one, if you like, that one has, I think, three... I think that one's bears. I think that's all bears. I can't remember. Um, let me just have a look. Yeah, so that's just all bears in that one. But there is there is one bear in the original set that has he's holding a map. So I thought <laughs> that would be quite cute to add that one in as well. So I've kind of mixed and matched them as best I could. Um, yeah. So I'm just lining these guys up as again i'm just eyeballing it into the sort of openings and what i'll do is i will color these guys off screen off camera you know what i mean <laughs> um uh just so you don't have to i mean i like coloring i like watching people color in but it does make um my videos very long <laughs> otherwise and they are quite long anyway but if you want to see more of that i can do that as well just leave me a comment um, and I'll see what I can do. So um, now that I've got those done, those stamped, I've also stamped and cut out the car as well as the opening for like the windshield or the windscreen, whatever you want to call it, uh, the glass bit. And that's going to line up over the opening that we've cut from one of the panels for the reveal wheel. So with the reveal wheel, you have one piece one die that will cut out the main section so in this case it's the one at the back um so the whiter piece of of cardstock there so that's the cheaper one and then um the other one the top one that's on top of the main rectangle that has the hole in it um that is the one that is cut using the add-on for the car so basically the windscreen will line up with the gap that's in the the hole that's in the front panel so for the wheel i've lined up the template again and then added a brad to the back of both the little mechanism the little circle and the wheel itself and what you want to do is 
take some foam dots or foam adhesive um, and add it onto that circle not touching the bread and not overlapping or coming off the little circle um, reason being is if you do that it will stop it your wheel from turning it just will not work and you'll stick your card together <laughs> so um, make sure that they're not touching the brad or coming off the little circle so and you can check that it's going to spin so then once i've done that i've taken the uh, backers off the tape and i'm going to use the template which is temporarily adhered to the uh, main wheel I'm using that again as a guide to show me where to line up that hole in the front panel and then once I position that where I want it I'm then going to hold them together and line up with the back panel and just line them up and squish it in the place and that basically sticks your card to your wheel sorry to the back piece of the reveal wheel and that is essentially the reveal wheel part of it. So now that I've done that, don't forget to take your template off. <laughs> um, and then once you've done that, your wheel will spin freely, or it should anyway. So the next bit is to stick my little car on. But before I actually get to sticking him in place, I want to create a little very simple background scene. So this is why I say if you stay to the end and you check out what I also added to the card, um, I just, like I say, <laughs> ran out of time. So, but this part's kind of cool because it, it creates this look of the car driving down the road. That's the idea. So I've got some full like um, adhesive uh, post-it note, fake post-it note stuff. <laughs> um, and so I lined up where I wanted the line of the, like the tires, like where that horizon would be. And then I can still see through the post-it to see where to line up the openings for the car and the reveal wheel. So I did that so that I still had an idea of where the where the car would be sitting. And then I'm going from the corner, outer corner of the car wheel down to a little bit in from the edge of the, the bottom edge. I know you can't see that because now I've stuck it to, the, <laughs> to my desk so I can actually uh, ink it. But I'm just coming in slightly from the bottom edge and you'll see that better when, when I show you the, you know, when I've done the inking. So for the road I had, because I've got some colours out for Halloween, I had some hickory smoke and I just ran with it. It actually makes a really nice um, road colour. I think black, although black would work, black soot would work or any of your black inks that you can blend. Um, that would work really well, but it's, I don't know, black sometimes can be too heavy. I never thought I'd hear the day that I'd say that, but you know what I mean? It might be a little too much. So I also brought in some uh, walnut stain as well, just to, again, just to try and give it that sort of somewhat dirty road. <laughs> so I've taken the edges off for my, and that reveals my little road. And then I'm leaving the, the horizon piece on, so the one at the top, because I still need that in place. And then I'm lining up against the edge of the road so that I can then get some grass or ground that isn't road, that area. So you could obviously not, you don't have to do this in green, you could do this in a different color, so it could be like dirt. Uh, and I just went along that edge. Obviously these, if the ink's still wet, they're not gonna stick to um, the ink underneath, so they're like the road part. So I just went a little careful um, and got it inked up as best I could. I could have also, um, spritz with water like I normally do but I didn't do that I kept it even simpler so that's my ground uh, and like my grassy area area and my um, road set up and then I went back and took the top half off and lined it up with the horizon or what will be the horizon and I'm using some selvage patina as my sky color it's a random color to use as a sky color um, and normally I would go for something like tumble glass or, you know, stormy sky or something like that. But I just thought that this actually was a nice bluey sort of colour. And um, it was on my desk. So that's what I did. 
and I didn't go right down to the bottom of the like horizon so it's almost got like this not glow but this sort of whiteness of light coming up from the horizon edge so that now oh, I can't talk now that I've done that I decided that the reveal wheel itself on the inside so not along the scallopy bit and there there are some embossed lines there so you can kind of follow those round I decided to take the selvage patina and run it along there and get some color in the background of my uh, wheel so that when they're in the car if you're looking through a car you can see through the other side right so I needed that background color to be in the car but not in the car but so you could see through the car kind of thing anyway <laughs> if that made sense so it wasn't stark white basically but just be aware I used um, I don't know if I said this I used SIG clean color real brush markers to color my images in and I did this like simple simple coloring um, and it's on Bristol smooth which is a beautiful combination but because they are water-based markers when I went over with the distress ink it moved some of that so it kind of smudged a bit <laughs> so just something to be aware of um, if I'd used Copic markers to color my images in and then use some distress ink over the top it wouldn't have even had an issue at all so I just I went with it I was mid flow on this <laughs> and I will still use it and I hope when you see the sentiment I hope that because um, my friend who I'm making this for hopefully she'll forget by the time Christmas comes <laughs> that I made this because she'll probably see it on social media but she when you see the sentiment it'll make sense anyway so now to put the reveal reveal wheel together I've lined everywhere around the wheel with foam dots um, the same height as the wheel the ones that are used on the wheel um, the back of the wheel sorry but none of these need if you make sure they don't touch the wheel basically because again it will stop it from moving and then you just line up the two pieces and stick it down and that's your reveal wheel voila so now to put the little car in so they look like they're driving it's just the cutest thing so um i got a little too excited there anyway so i'm just going to use some wet adhesive and uh, not wet adhesive some flat adhesive to stick this on stick the car on and again you just line up the little openings it's really quite easy to do um and stick that on and now it looks like they're driving down a little road i mean they're a little off on the road there but you know we're not going to say anything and then my um little arrow which will tell people what to do or how to use the reveal wheel because not everybody knows you know if you're not in the craft industry you're not going to know what to do with this thing um it just it helps people it guides people as to where to you know what they need to do um, so I just colored that in the same one of the reds that I used um, and just colored the little arrow in and then I decided that I needed to oh then I wanted to do my sentiment so to do my sentiment I had to um, I didn't want I don't like cutting my stamps apart and a lot of people have no issue with that and that's fine you do you <laughs> I just have this thing about cutting my stamps um, so I, I can't do that so if you if you're like me you don't want to stamp I don't want to cut your stamps so you get all the words that you want then all you do is you tape off the word that you the, you know the words that you don't want with some um, washi tape ink up the word that you do want or the sentiment that you want or part of that sentiment and then take the tape off because that will have ink on it and then stamp that down and then I just repeated the same thing um, the last word is Christmas so it's um, you know it's on its own anyway so that's fine but the other two I had to sort of make them work for what I wanted to do here and I love it so have you all got the song in your head now I'm pretty sure you will have if you know what it is anyway <laughs> so uh yeah so I when I saw the two stamp sets I actually that was the reason I bought them I know that sounds like a ridiculous thing to do but to a favorite song a favorite Christmas song or one of them and um 
I just yeah I had to I had to have it I had to make the card I've known about this since for months and months that that's what I'm gonna do so that is this will be her Christmas card <laughs> anyway so I use my paper trimmer just to trim down the edges just so that it's nice and it's just a nice block sentiment if that makes sense i also when i was stamping i used the edge of a piece of cardstock to make sure that i got the line you know it's an easier way to line them up especially if you've got different words or sentiments from different stamp sets or stamps um that you need to line up as well so um that made it really easy and then i've just trimmed it to fit and i think it's just going to go at the bottom there so i'll start to put this together um and i will be like I say, I will add some extra stuff to this because I do think that it needed more. Um, and you'll see that in the in the uh, photo at the end. Um, and you can also obviously see it all over social media because the proper photo will be up there. Uh, the finished, finished card. Um, but there are some extra bits that you can add to, to this as well. Um, so I forgot that there are these tiny little words that you can use as the license plate and i think they're so clever <laughs> so i have one that i chose the one that says merry christmas i thought that was just cute and then i was thinking about adding this on it says jingle bells and i thought hang on a second it ain't no jingle bells it's you know driving home for christmas so <laughs> so i changed my mind on that but i did find in the set that there are some little like teeny tiny little music notes so I'm going to add the music notes to um, just as an added little thing and you'll see that in a second. Here's where there's some of these little add-ons. Um, in the end I'm going to use the tree and I'm actually going to make the car look like Rudolph. I know, how adorable is that? Lawn Fawn thinks of everything. And they just do. Anyway, so uh, I've got the music notes now and i'm just going to add a few of these um to the card just somewhat randomly and um you know because why not <laughs> when you're in the car and i can just see her in her little car bopping away when she's you know driving up to see her family so <laughs> up down i don't know <laughs> anyway when she's going you know to see her other family so now i'm just going to stick this all together i think that's where i'm at and um just using some flat adhesive to add all of these bits in um you've got dimension with the uh, reveal wheel anyway so the rest of it doesn't need to be raised up on any foam unless you want to i mean it's it's your your card your art your thing um and I've just got like a darkish green, I would say it's like a Christmassy sort of green. I think it's an old Stampin' Up! colour. I don't stay up with that, but yeah, I think it's one of the really old ones. Um, and it's it just kind of worked as a Christmas colour. And then the reveal wheel um, part or card um, actually fits nicely within the stitching of the... I think it's an outside in stitched scalloped rectangle <laughs> say that three times fast um so i thought that was really cool actually and again it's something else that lawn fawn probably thought of um and so it just works really well and then i stuck my little arrow on just to say this is what you need to do you need to move that wheel um and that's the, just a directional arrow for people there are stamps that will you can stamp in there to say, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what they'd say, <laughs> but but they might say move here or, <laughs> you know, pull, push, you know, there's a whole stamp set that has all those kinds of things in them. So for the sentiment, I'm just lining this up and again, just sticking it flat, um, somewhat centered because you know me, I can't do straight lines or centered things properly. Uh, <laughs> but I got that on there and that's how I left it. And then it bugged me that I hadn't really finished it off because it, for me, if I'm going to do a scene card, it needs to be a scene card. So I do go back, like I say, said in the beginning, um, and you'll see a picture of the 
what I actually finish off. But this is the reveal wheel and how you turn it. And there's all these little friends in their car and they're all driving and, you know, ask my husband about a map. But yeah. Um, and obviously you can go both ways, but the arrow just sort of guides people as to what to do with the card, especially if it's a kinetic card. Um, yeah. So here's the finished, finished one. Uh, little reindeer. <laughs> Um, reindeer, 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 <laughs> little Rudolph car. I think it's just adorable. So there you go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.